Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today's scripture uh, devotional message is coming from, again, in Second Peter. And I'll be uh, he's talking from the second chapter and verse one. And I'll read um, verses one through three. This is uh, a series of talking about false teachers. And it reads as follows. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you who privately shall bring in damnation and heresies, even deny the Lord that brought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. And though covenants shall they with fain words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now is of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and the hearing of his word. Today's message is a warning of the false teachers that is among us. And uh, Peter is speaking perfectly to the churches. And I think this because we see there is an all-out all assault on the church. And then it is coming through its leaders. And we are being warned that yes, they are coming and they are denying, denying the truth of God's word. They may have started out in truth and believing and adhering to God's holy word, but somehow they have allowed corruption to seep in and they are circumventing the truth of God's word. But I encourage all of us believers today to know the truth for yourself. That the truth is what's in God's holy word called the Bible. We must dedicate ourselves to stand firmly on the truth of God's word. Do not compromise on the truth of God's word. When someone tells you something that doesn't look right, read it for yourself. And then in 2 Timothy 2.15 tells us we must study to show ourselves approved as a workman should not be ashamed to rightly divide the word of truth. And when we know the truth, we stand on the truth. But I leave you with this message. The truth wins. And the truth will always be the truth. Regardless of how false teachers, prophets, try to convince you that the truth is not what is seen. And we know in our society today, many would rather hear a false narrative than the truth. Our world and our nation is being led astray by corruption and false narratives. So let me just give you an encouraging word, if I may. Know the truth. Follow the truth. Because truth is what's going to see us through with God's help. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Help us get to 4,000 uh, subscribers by the end of the year. We can do that. We are God's people, and we are citizens of these United States, and we are citizens of the world, because it doesn't matter what nation you reside in. And it's one thing about being uh, tech, by using technology to carry the message we can reach, and we are reaching around the world, spreading his truth. 
because we know false narratives. It has his head believing what's wrong is right and what's right is wrong. That is not God's word and that is not the truth. And God loves you, so do I. Have a blessed day and keep shining the light of righteousness in this world.